we just start reselling shoes and is it worth it? How many sales did we have in last seven days? Let's find out. <laughs> Max Profit and welcome to my channel. This channel is dedicated about reselling and now especially about reselling shoes. We move from hard goods like electronic and a lot of vintage stuff, clothing into the shoes. So actually we're just starting uh, reselling shoes. We're still selling all the vintage stuff. We're still selling um, clothing, but we're moving slowly and surely into the shoe business so is it worth it and how many sales did we have in last seven days right now we have in our in our store in our ebay store 200 pairs of shoes around 200 195 somewhere there so 200 shoes and in last seven days we have exactly how many sales we have 28 sales in last seven days so that means every single day we sell four pairs of shoes um, but we're making sure that before we're gonna purchase any shoes those shoes are worth it they're still selling and we have good profit um, usually when we purchase shoes uh, we buying them for around I would say from six dollars to ten dollars that's the you know when you buy like 20 shoes a day uh, and you spend you know hundred dollars so that means each shoes you pay like five dollars so something like that uh, so this is how much we spend and uh, let's find out how much we selling them for so let's go and here we are so first shoes uh, are ultra uh, I never heard about this brand this is first time when I spot this brand and Goodwill, uh, but they look really interesting to me. Uh, so I did some research and they sold after like three days and sold for $50 on Poshmark. So make a note, ultra good brand. Stuart Weitzman, nothing crazy. Um, those shoes probably purchased probably around $7, somewhere there. And sold for $30. Again, Poshmark buyers they pay for shipping. So not bad. Brooks. Brooks is really easy to check them if they're worth it or not. But you gotta make sure uh, because people they buying them for running or working out. So make sure that they still good in good condition. And again, pictures, pictures, pictures. You gotta make sure that your pictures are very clean. Uh, that people they're gonna spot your item right away because as you can see on this picture for example the shoes they pop up so I'm making pictures only on one shoes you don't have to do pictures both shoes like your your main picture doesn't have to be two shoes together why because that picture is gonna be much smaller and uh, you're not gonna show your shoes exactly so for me it's better to do one shoe only and it's closer so then you're gonna fill the frame uh, with the shoe and people they go, your your listing is just gonna pop up because people they're gonna see your shoes uh, better than if you have two shoes um, you're gonna see because I still have some old pictures here because some of those shoes they just sold and you're gonna compare uh, you know what I used to have so those Brooks Glycerin sold for $45 Dr. Martens, a uh, really good brand, but again, from not everything from them, it's uh, gonna go for good money. But you should go, you should sell for around from thirty dollars to all the way up to the roof. Make sure you're not gonna overspend for those shoes. La Sportiva, La Sportiva, or whatever I don't know how you call the brand. You will not believe I was a Goodwill, and again, when you're going through the rack and you spot something interesting grab it because you just never know what you're gonna find and those are climbing shoes um, I never heard about this brand never ever before uh, but they look interesting to me 
of course I grab them I check them I pay you know again this is between five and ten dollars no more uh, and sold after few days for seventy dollars and buyer they pay for shipping and this is what I'm talking so you see that picture is just terrible not just that you don't see the shoes exactly but look at the background it's just destroying uh, you know it's just too much distraction on these pictures uh, very poor pictures very low light as you can see it's hard to spot the shoes uh, bad picture overall very bad picture um, you know uh, so what can I say sold but it took probably forever to sell those boots because the picture I would I would say that one of the thing is the pictures not good quality picture and sold for only $25 look much better you see the shoes that that shoe is just popping out from the from the frame so that's what you want to represent to your customers something like that people if they see if they go through the, all the listings and a lot of people now they buy not on a computer but on the phone uh, so if they look in the items on the phone your shoes they gotta pop up right away so people they just gonna jump after your listing and then they're gonna start looking you know what kind of shoes you have uh, and everything so then you're gonna do two pictures compare like the shoes you know shoe by shoe uh, but again I'm gonna do another video uh, just subscribe to my channel again uh, make sure that you're gonna hit notification bell because I'm gonna do video about how to do pictures definitely lighting and everything Gucci uh, Alex she spot those Gucci store at uh, the Salvation Army again we pay between five and ten dollars sold after few days uh, on Poshmark and again that picture is just not good to me uh, it's just a little bit confusing picture uh, because it's, it's, it's really confusing uh, but same time it is Gucci so people they're looking the brand of course so that's why we were able to sell them for hundred dollars and buyer they pay shipping Merrell uh, not everything from Merrell it's gonna go for big money boots of course hiking boots great uh, but only just the like athletic shoes uh, nothing crazy uh, because I pass a lot of Merrell I didn't grab them um, if you beginner you want to spend as less as possible not too much not too much money and same time you want to have good profit so I want to have my profit to be minimum $20 on each pair of shoes if it's less I just do not mess up with those shoes uh, I just don't want it so my profit it's got to be $20 and higher of course uh, so if I have a profit only $10 or if I have a profit $15 I just do not go after this kind of shoes because I'm in the beginning of course later on later on if I'm gonna have a lot of shoes then I'm gonna go after profit even $15 because it's $15 but right now I don't want to have too much money sitting and then it's a low profit so that's why I go after higher um, higher margin uh, Clark's original desert trek uh, something like that very interesting shoes I really like those shoes uh, they were different really thick leather nice shoes and again sold for $42 but here was free shipping but those boots they weren't too heavy so make sure if you're gonna buy boots uh, you're gonna pay for sh and if you have a free shipping mm, shipping it's gonna be around $12 $10 $12 because boots are much heavier so think about it when you purchase boots Essex everybody likes Essex not everything from Essex is gonna go for great money um, but some yes definitely so again we talking about used shoes so selling used shoes for $40 I would say not bad always make the if the condition is good you gotta make sure that everything is good here beautiful Nike 
uh, I'm not sure if I think those were new. Yes, I purchased those new from uh, Burlington and I spent, I believe, like $20 for them. Uh, but they were just so nice. I just love the color and everything. They knew, right? Uh, I think, yeah. So for $74 free shipping. Uh, but they saw really quick, very nice color. You see the pictures? It's really hard to see actually the boots. You see that there are some kind of boots on the pictures. You see there is background is white. Everything is good. White background. But same time. It's really hard to spot what kind of boots are those, you know, especially if you on a cell phone and uh, from mobile device, you're trying to buy uh, shoes and you're going to spot something like that. You just don't see what's there. So that's why I rather do only one shoe picture, main picture. You see, this is nice. Different story. You can see it's a one boot, no distraction, very nice. And so for $70, this is Fry, definitely really good brand, good to grab. Everything from them is going to go for good money. Uh, but same time, make sure you're not going to overspend because Goodwill and different thrift stores, they know that it's really good brand. So they try to charge like $40 for boots. So no. LL Bean. Uh, when Alex, when she saw those LL Bean, she said, uh, are you joking? Because those are shoes for inside in the house. Uh, so those are not outside shoes. This is only for inside. Uh, and they they letter, bottom letter everywhere. It's a letter. And they really light. They like paper. Very light. First class. Uh, I paid $3 for those only. $3. Um, and they sold for $30 after a few days. Very quick sale. But again, look at the pictures. Very nice pictures. And they just fly. Uh, Brooks GTS Adrenaline Brooks is always good make sure what you have but they always sell for pretty good money it's a lot of competition in the Brooks uh, so that's why picture is important this again two shoes on a picture not favor uh, but those are a little bit older pictures those pictures I did probably like two weeks ago or no three weeks ago this is when we started go into the shoe business uh, but it took me only one week to figure out right away that I'm doing something not right, something wrong. So right away I start do only one shoe pictures and our sale just improve almost instantly. So that's why. And background, I switched like two months ago, something like that, to white background because it's just much, much better, much cleaner, better, overall better. Those shoes, this is terrible picture, by the way, but those shoes, when they knew, this is Alden, Alden for Leafwood, something like that. Uh, those shoes, when they knew, they go for around $400, $500. And those shoes, they were like brand new. They were in great condition, but pictures terrible. So that's why I think that was the reason why they were in my eBay store for, I would say, almost almost two months or month and a half month and a half uh, but i pay only ten dollars for them at goodwill and so for 165 dollars so great those are ag i don't know what the hell is that oh, oh uh, that's what it is at the atelio gusti lamborghini or what is lambrini whatever whatever it is um okay brand nothing crazy probably uh you see when you do the pictures inside put something inside you can put either like um, bubble wrap inside or some paper or this or better if you're serious about business buy something like that it's a, I, I don't know how they call the thing uh shoe stretch or i don't know leave the comment uh what is it what did I put inside? It's uh, uh, whatever. Make your shoes pop up. Uh, okay, so that's what I. That's what it is. And I paid thirty dollars. No, I pay. I paid probably five dollars, but sold for thirty dollars. Free shipping again. That was those shoes are very light, so good. Hookah. 
I love this brand. This brand is selling great. Very good brand. Um, and you see the pictures? They just, they like from magazine. They just pop up. So that's what you want. Uh, and they were so probably after one week. Very, very fast. And good size. 10 and a half. It's good size. Again, make sure that they're in good condition. I'm going to do again video about how to make sure that your shoes are that whatever you're buying is good to purchase condition. So I'm going to show you some of the mistakes I did right away. Again, I'm not selling shoes for three weeks. I sold shoes in 2006. That was the first time when I sold any shoes. So actually I started selling in 2006, but I sold, I was selling only new Nike on my eBay store in 2006. Um, so I sold around 100 shoes. And then for some reason I quit. I go into the construction business, so I didn't I didn't do any reselling anymore. And then I start again like two years ago again. Uh, so I'm not first time a shoe seller, um, but I was selling only new, not used. But you want to make sure that your picture, if you're gonna represent your shoes, you want to make sure that they look like new. Uh, but again, do not lie to your customers. Do not hide anything. So if they ha if there is some imperfection, make sure you're gonna put there. But again, I'm gonna do video about that. You know, I don't know when exactly, but definitely make sure you're gonna hit notification bell. So as soon as I'm gonna produce any video, you're gonna see uh, what's going on and you're gonna learn. New Balance, of course, great brand. Everybody like New Balance. Everybody's buying New Balance, and they selling pretty good so uh, 65 dollars not bad Merrell boots I thought that they're gonna go for 80 dollars uh, but probably because it's summer uh, they go only for 44 dollars but I'm in the reselling business I'm not in a holding business so they gotta go and they they were probably in our eBay store for those pictures are newer, so for last two, three weeks, something like that. For for sold for forty-four dollars, not bad because it's summer, and selling winter boots in summer is it's it's fun to me. Like behind me, I'm just gonna do some pictures. Those are Ax, and who who is watching my YouTube channel all the time, you know that those are UGG. This is how I used to call them uh, because I thought that. Ax is UGG, uh, but actually this is Ax. So those UGG, I'm just gonna make pictures, and they're gonna go. It is summer, but people are buying boots in summer too. So that's great. Oops, let's go back. Okay, this is Nike again. Nike is very easy to spot first of all second is really easy to check them what you got uh and i'm gonna go in another video about that how to check the shoes you know what to look for uh you mm, like style model everything uh yeah so so for 30 dollars mm, it looks like it's going over oh uh, uh, uh. Okay, so this is Tory Burch. Uh, Tory Burch is just great brand. It's selling like hotcakes, uh, especially if you have a big logo in the front, you know, like the those gold logo, the big one. Uh, they're gonna go for good money. And again, it doesn't matter even even if they're in bad condition, like me. I mean, really bad, like tour. Uh, so what you do, you just grab them because. Nobody probably is gonna wear. So let's say you are in Goodwill or another thrift store, and you're gonna spot Tory Burch uh, with the big gold logo in the front, metal logo, and they want it for them. Let's say fifteen dollars, but they're in so bad shape, like holes, whatever. You still grab them, go to manager, and ask them if they're gonna sell you for three dollars because show them holes, everything is destroyed. You know, and you know, three dollars or four dollars, and if they agree, definitely grab them because people are gonna buy them just because that gold 
logo. So you still can ha get for them $25, maybe $30. People are gonna buy them, remove the logo, or maybe let them fix, whatever, but you're gonna sell them. So don't worry, just make sure you, you, you're not gonna spend too much money for uh, some kind of destroyed Tory Burch. Uh, so if they, if they destroy, just buy them, but cheap if they have a big logo. Without that logo, don't even mess up with them uh, because it's not worth it if they have a big holes. Uh, those, those are just okay. Uh, I think they have some problem. I'm not sure. Uh, so for $34. What is happening here? Uh, okay. Axe, again, winter boots. So for $32. And it's summer. Uh, probably I can get a little bit more in the winter. But until... Before winter is going to come, I'm going to get much more those kind of shoes. So I'm not worried. Mm. Okay. We start reselling on Macari. Um, we have over there probably around 120 shoes, something like that. Uh, because there is like a limit. So even if you're going to start selling over there, you cannot repost everything what you have over there right away there is like some kind of limit so they want to make sure that you you are real or that you are not scammer i don't know but they give us some kind of limit so it was 100 shoes now we can go a little bit higher so now we have 120 shoes and this is what we sold over there for 52 dollars after few days um good Nike free are in motion, whatever. Um, light, very light shoes. Make sure you see that it's a mesh over there. So, and because there is so many colors, you gotta make sure that there is not any hole. Uh, because a lot of times it's like double mesh. So, on the top, you're not gonna see any hole because there is nothing, but underneath, it's another mesh. And that's the sp that's where you have to be really careful because that that could be hole over there. A lot of it happened to me. Uh, I purchased some shoes, I bring them home, and then actually underneath the second mesh, that was the hole. It's really hard to spot. Uh, but if you spot, don't even try to sell them like that. It's not worth it. Uh, you're just gonna sit on those shoes. If they're not like three hundred dollar shoes, then just don't because it's not worth it. Um, you're just gonna sit on your shoes and then explain to the customers and then you're gonna have stupid offers why to deal with that just return them and buy another one Dansko great brand I love this brand uh, people remember people are buying those shoes because they either work in hospital or somewhere stores cashier and they need something comfortable uh, so they're not gonna feel a lot of pain after work. So you gotta make sure that they still in good condition, not completely destroyed. You still can get twenty-five dollars if they have uh, some kind of problems, a little here and there, but nothing major, uh, because people they still wanna wear them, still wanna go to work for them. So they're looking for good deal and same time, good shoes in good condition. Mm, so so for eighty dollars on Poshmark. I was jumping over the place here. Acne. So those are first shoes. I'm not sure if I show you all of them. But I hope I did. Uh, okay, so that that's supposed to be like 28 shoes. I hope that, that everything was there. I'm not sure uh, it's supposed to. Guys, if you like those kind of videos, because I'm going to go, like I told you in my previous video, into the shoe business. So make sure you're going to hit notification bell. As soon as I'm going to produce videos, you're going to be notified that there is another video from me. So you know, okay, Max, he put another video about shoes. I want to learn about shoes. Don't make me wrong. I love to sell electronic. The problem with electronic is you got a home. You have to check if it's working. Uh, then a lot of time is not working. A lot of time is some kind of issue. Then you have to clean. Uh, 
then you do pictures, then you send to the customers, then you got complaint, it came destroyed or something break down, then packing, to pack electronic, you gotta make sure that everything is protected properly, so that's just hustle, a lot, a lot of problems, and then you need so many different boxes, um, so that's the, that's my main problem, like, you gotta be everywhere, uh, so that's why I'm trying to go into the shoe business, and I still like it, because for example, this week, this week, uh, we sold 28 pair of shoes, where profit was around $30, $30 clear profit after everything, after fees, after shipping and everything, around $30. So you got almost $1,000, exactly, let me put the exact number because I hope you, I'm not going to have those comments, uh, you don't know math, you don't know, you don't know how to count properly, so 28, uh, 28 shoes, by let's say thirty dollars eight hundred forty dollars so eight hundred forty dollars with two hundred pair of shoes not bad so as soon as we're gonna hit five hundred shoes five hundred pair of shoes I'm hoping that this number is gonna be double so if if you're gonna make around two thousand dollars per week selling shoes something what is easy to store because right now I can put in my basement around 2,000 pair of shoes with no problem. Uh, and pretty easy to store and easy to find. Mm, nothing's going to break down. So that's good compared to electronic, which I have, I don't know how many pieces right now. I still have a lot of it, uh, but that's different story. So that's why it's, it's to me, it makes more sense. Different between selling electronic and, and shoes and whatever. If you're going to go hunting for shoes, that's going to be a different story than go after clothing. But that's going to be in different video. I'm going to talk how to go after shoes and what kind of technique to do to get as many as possible. But that's going to be completely different video. So this is it from today. That was sold listing. I hope you liked the video. If you're new to my channel, subscribe. And if you're already my subscriber, hit the notification bell so you know when another video is going to come. And that's it. Makes profit. Take care, guys.